What's up guys? Welcome to another video on Hack the Box. We are in tier zero for the starting point if you guys are new. And if you are new, um, last time we worked on Meow, so if you haven't done that, go ahead and uh, click somewhere there. <laughs> Up there somewhere. Uh, or check the description below and you'll see the video. Um, but let's get started. Uh, we're, these are supposed to be very easy. Um, this is going to be Linux as well. Um, so let's, uh, we, I'm already connected to the, uh, open VPN. So if you don't know how to do that, go into the previous video and, um, I go in depth on how to do that there. Um, but if you're ready to go, let's uh, spawn the machine. This might take a, a bit of time, so. Alrighty, so we are now connected and this is the IP for the machine. Um, we don't need it right now, so let's go on and go on ahead and uh, answer these questions. First question, or the first task, is what does the three-letter acronym FTP stand for? Um, now pause the video bef uh, if you want to guess, and um, otherwise, um, if we aren't sure what that is, and if you've never heard of that before, you can go ahead and click on that hint. And um, it says that it's always a good practice to associate the purpose of the protocol with the meaning of the acronym in order to remember them better. The IT domain has a lot of acronyms you will need to remember. FTP, FTP being one of them, one of the more basic ones in this case, it has something to do with file transfer. When using acronyms, remember that the first letter of each word is always capitalized as standard. This is called camel case or medial capitals. So if you still don't know what this stands for, um, they actually give it to you right here you just got to add the protocol um, after that so FTP stands for file transfer protocol now let's go ahead and submit that so let's say you didn't know still what that was uh, simple Google search, oh, not FFTP, but FTP. If you just search FTP, um, it's, you're just going to find it right away. Uh, it's going to be the first. So I think it's okay. No, not this one, not that, but it's file transfer protocol. And if you want to learn more about it, you can go in here and read more about it. Essentially, a file transfer protocol is essentially what the name suggests. It is a protocol um, that we use in order to transfer files over the internet. Um, usually, we use FileZilla. Um, I've, I, at least I've used FileZilla a lot uh, to do that, but any FTP, FTP client will do. Number two, what communication model does FTP use architecturally speaking. Um, so the communication models are client server model uh, and then server server model, I believe. Um, if, let's go ahead and read that hint. So uh, you go have a delicious juicy steak at your local restaurant. You are a client there and the people bringing you the menu, drinks and food are your servers. It is a good business model. <laughs> Remember to use a hyphen. 
So there they told you client server. So it should be that. Model, not protocol. Number three. What is the name of the popular GUI FTP program? Um, if you remember from earlier for, I think it was this, this one, FTP, um, you, we saw a program called FileZilla. Um, before we press enter, I want to read the hint. For you guys so if you missed this one check the write-up googling gui ftp software will pop it up in the results as well so oh, let's just submit that and success so um let's go ahead and uh, do what they suggested and the first one is FileZilla. Um, and if you've never used it, where we might, I don't think we're going to be using it here, but do we have it installed here? FileZilla, we do. Um, so pretty much it looks like this, if you've never seen that. So here we've, you can connect to your server. Um, you need the host name, the username, password, and port. Um, you can also set um where do you set those i think it's right here network configuration wizard and you can set like different stuff there um but essentially this is um let, let's say you're working on a website and you have you know your hierarchies here for um everything that your website is going to contain um usually we use ftps to uh push and pull uh, files um, from there so your remote site over here this is going to be your server uh, and we would only work in the local site here and we would um, push files uh, like HTTP uh, HTML files PHP files and other stuff uh, images or whatever into the remote server um, and then this is a more of a detailed view, um, kind of like your file explorer, um, where you have actual files that you can actually view here. This is just um, a tree view. Um, I don't, do they show, uh, maybe they do show files here, but I'm not sure. I think it's just folders. I don't remember exactly, but that's how that works. And then down here, you can have, um, I guess, um, logs of what files are being uploaded, what were trans uh, successful and what were failed transfers and stuff like that. Number four, did we click? Okay, I think we're good, right? Yeah. Number four, which port is the FTP service active on usually? Um, let's read the hint. Remember, when we talk about ports, it is important to mention which transfer protocol is used for each port. You never just say port 80. Um, you say port 80, TCP, or UDP. Uh, these two elements are interlocking parts of the same concept. So TCP and UDP, um, one allows you to miss packets, um, and the other one allow it doesn't, it, it, it needs to verify the packets and make sure that you get them continuously. Um, if you want me to do a video on port like TCP and UDP, let me know. But um, this is outside of the scope of this video. But um, if the FTP port is going to be 21, 
and that's going to be uh, TCP because you have to make sure that you get uh, all the packets and you don't miss anything. But um, if we didn't know, quick little search would uh, tell us. We can right here tells us twenty one. So number six, I mean five. What acronym is used for securing for the secure version of FTP? So if you've um, if you know anything about the internet and if you know anything about other protocols, you can, this is going to be pretty easy. Um, so we need we know that we have FTP, but in front of this F there's going to be another letter that signifies that it's secure um, just like HTML or HTTP not HTML um, the hypertext transfer protocol there is a safe or secure version not safe a secure version of that protocol and it's SHTTP. The same thing applies here. The secure version of FTP is SFTP. And we can read about it here. The difference between the normal FTP service and the secure version is that the secure version runs under the SSH protocol. SSH stands for Secure Shell. Following this logic, your new protocol would be Secure FTP. What would be, what would the acronym for this new protocol be? Well, and if we didn't know anything based on that hint, we can always. Oop, go to Google, paste that, and we that's the first thing that we get. SFTP. Okay, we can submit that now. Number six. What is the command we can use to test our connection to the target? And it's a four letter word ends with a G if you're if you've used the command line a lot you probably know this one it's like one of the thing that one of the first things that somebody learns how to do um, with the command line and the internet um, let's read the hint before I tell you what it is it's a simple protocol you might have used before to troubleshoot your router at home. It's also an onomatopoeia. Poeia? 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 Anyway, it is ping. What ping command allows us to do is it sends packets uh, from us to another server or computer and it responds with other packets. Um, and um, we actually did that on the previous uh, box, meow. Um, but maybe we'll try that here as well. So you can see it in action if you haven't yet. Number seven, from your scans, what? Okay, so now we get to do hands-on stuff. So we gotta run um, a scan and see what uh, version of FTP they're running. So let's open up our terminal. I'm going to be using this one. Um, I think that should be good for you to read. All right, first thing is that we're going to go 
right there. And we are going to make a new directory for uh, fawn. So make dir fawn. And we're going to go into fawn. And we're going to do sublime readme. So we're opening a new um, sublime document called readme.md. Let's go ahead and save that. And um, we're going to annotate the IP that we got up here. So let's click on that and it's going to copy that IP. Let's go back to here and paste that IP. And we need to uh, scan. Let's go ahead and do that scan. So nmap, we're going to be doing tag sc, um, sv, tag a, tag t4, tag o n. We're going to put it instead of an nmap folder. And then scan. Uh, let's make an nmap folder and then let's scan oh no ip need the ip so the ip is 10 1 2 9 and let's see what this result gives us Okay, so, all right, so here we go. Um, we found in a port open, uh, port 21 TCP for the service of FTP. Uh, the version, it is FS, uh, FVF, uh, can't, can't speak. Let's try it again. VS FTPD 3.0.3. All right. So we can go here and go VS FTPD 3.0.3 and submit. And now it says from your scans. What OS type is running on the target? Well, we... It's going to be Unix. Right here. And we actually found that there's a flag text um, within this service the ftp and it says that um the anonymous ftp login is allowed which it shouldn't be allowed because anybody uh can log in without any passwords so our next step is to log in to this ftp server anonymously and we have read write writes for this um, flag.txt. So we can actually read it and write to it or download it. So let's do that first. This is Unix. Now what we gotta do is infiltrate this machine and um, we can actually just copy this and put it in our notes and 
and um, clear that. And now, um, let's log in. So we need FTP and we need the IP. And the IP is that. So it's 10. One two nine one nine one four zero, and we are connected. It seems, are we? Yeah, we are correct, right? No, what happened here? Wonder why it did that. Hmm. It automatically thinks, let's see, maybe anonymous. How do you spell anonymous? There we go. Okay, so we had to provide the name as anonymous and no password at all. And it says that we were able to log in successfully. Um, it says remote type, our system type is Unix using binary mode to transfer files. So if we do LS, we're gonna see the contents in here. Um, and we see that we have a flag here and to download anything from your FTP server, um, we can do, um, well, let's clear. No, we can't clear. Um, we can do help and you get a list of everything that you can do. Um, so what we want to do, we want to do the get, where is it? Good, good. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's, there's more, apparently. So we want to do this one. What this is going to do is it's going to allow us to download anything. So get flag.txt. So we're going to download that. We download 32 bytes, transfer complete, received 32 bytes. So everything is good. And all we just, all we do now is just exit. Well, we can't do anything else. Um, so now we can see in our locals um, hard drive, we have the flag.txt uh, here and what we want to do now is we want to read that file. But uh, before we do that, let's uh, use the ping command. So ping and let's do 10.129.19.140. Now we should have done this before we started doing all this because this would tell us if there's a connection issue with us in the box so right now we everything is fine um we're sending and receiving packets fine and if we just do control z it tells us that we received 13 packets and we sent 13 packets and we had a percentage of zero uh, packet loss and the total time that we took is uh, that many milliseconds and that's it that's how you pretty much use that um, if you didn't um, I'll show you once we log off this thing I'll show you the ping again so you can see what happens we're, we're gonna try to ping that same um, IP 
once we don't no longer are using that um, VPN and it's gonna prevent us from actually reaching it so you're gonna see what happens uh, when that ping fails okay so let's see clear everything and um, all we gotta do is we gotta do cat then flag txt press enter and there it is our flag we copy we go to hack the box and we want to go HTB and then the uh, curly brackets and then paste and then submit flag cover your ears because they don't do that anymore but it, we we did it we successfully pawned phone we were able to infiltrate that server that ftp server download that file x and uh, it contained the flag so congratulations let's go back here and so now we're no longer connected um let's go back over here and let's do that ping one more time and see how it's like taking longer it's not receiving anything and we've sent uh 56 bytes is it of data and now if we just do a control c to stop it and it says 20 well we actually transmitted 22 packets and we received zero that means that we had 100 percent packet loss so if you ever are trying to um troubleshoot your connection to anything um to these boxes to your router to a website to anything you can use ping to see if you actually have connection to it and if you have 100 percent packet loss that means you do not have connection to it i've never really seen like anything else other than 100 percent or zero percent so i don't think there's gonna be like in between i've never seen it but there could be all right well i hope you guys like this video um go ahead and comment below um how many you got right and how many you got wrong from the list of questions that we had uh, maybe we can do something interesting or fun with those questions hmm, i don't know i don't know how many we actually have left but um if maybe i could do like a let's see who gets the best score and maybe i could do a giveaway or something but then i don't know we don't really have like uh um like a way of actually checking to see if somebody got them actually correct because anybody can just say oh yeah i did but really nobody did but we'll see we'll we'll, we'll talk about that maybe you maybe you've, Maybe if you have any uh, suggestions on how to do something like that, um, fun or whatever, let me know in the comments below. Um, and if you've made it this far, uh, thank you. I really appreciate it. And you must be one of my subscribers. <laughs> um, I just want to say thank you and i really appreciate all of you guys watching these videos and if you haven't subscribed what are you doing subscribe <laughs> um i know that a lot of the views that i get are from people that are not subscribed to my channel uh so if you like this video if you want to see more of like these um subscribe if you learn something subscribe if you if, if if this added value to your life subscribe and like the video also share it with anybody that you think might like it 
and I will see you guys next week. See ya.